I'm here behind the vines. <laughs> Rosemary's Baby came out in 1968, and Baby Rosemary came out in 1976. Eight years for the adult spoof to come out. 45 years ago, this film came out. John Leslie, I guess he's John Cassavetes, and Sharon Thorpe, I guess she's Mia Farrow. This film was rated X, it is now rated G. It was 79 minutes long, now it's 23 minutes long. And I'll be in the front and the back. I'm Jason from Barefoot. Welcome to Squeaky Clean Adult Films, Baby Rosemary. <clears throat> John Leslie does an awesome job. Never Sleep Alone, Champagne for Breakfast. Sharon Thorpe is Rosemary. I love her. I love her. And she's so, she's so pretty, but she's so like, modern day to us hip i feel like she could be the bass player in luscious jackson i feel like she is the bass player in luscious jackson now there's one of the best scenes ever we're gonna do a slight not super in-depth film theory we're gonna do a slight breakdown after the picture i don't want to do um spoilers you know just be aware that one of the most amazing scenes of all time dialogue acting direction blocking <laughs> we'll talk about it at the end john hayes directed this film oh it's right there john hayes directed this film not johnny blaze not johnny hayes not the blaze dog not blaze he's in the same same film troupe as me his name's john hayes this guy's name's john hayes you ever seen end of the world watch look at the still look at this still john hayes directed a lot oh. of um adult films but also directed a lot of mainstream exploitation. He is the reason why I did this film. Roman Polanski, John Hayes. You think I'm doing like an anti weirdo bad guy? No, I'm not. Well, Repulsion is such an amazing film and that's Polanski. Rosemary's Baby's good too. This is a wonderfully shot, beautiful score. 35 millimeter film. This is the goal this is the goal if you can help make the goal happen hit me up instagrams dms i don't want to spoil what i said in my old intro for this it didn't have an outro but it had a short little intro like a minute long and i talked about this in depth i said some pretty cool things so as always we're going to also show my old intro there are things i was going to repeat but I'm not going to be a repeater. I am a repeater, but I'm not going to be a repeater right now. I love this film and I'm so glad that you're about to watch it. So let's go listen to the old Jason. Oh my goodness. I'm having the worst tooth problems right now during uh, a pandemic. So I don't even want to do this, but this film has an amazing score. Shot on 35, looks amazing, great set design. It is one of the best responses ever. I'm sorry to tell you this, he's dead, Rosemary. People die. I mean, look at the opening credits, calligraphy, live. Rosemary's Baby was 1968 and Baby Rosemary is 1976. So it's clearly got some Polanski, but there's some Cronenberg, there's some Lynch, there's some David Byrne. I mean, you could find little things. This is a good movie. There's even a little bit of Cassavetes. I'm serious. And that's it. I love this movie.
We are pretending. Like this is one of the hundreds of movies we must have seen together. We'll walk now. For blocks. And talk about everything except what we're really thinking. That this is our last night together. We'll stop for a sandwich. And coffee. Then on to my old apartment building. I have to dedicate myself to something. I have to mean something. What will you do, John? I... I've been thinking of trying out for the police academy. Oh, but that's such a dangerous job. Yeah. You're probably right. I couldn't hack it. I'm gonna go now. Good luck, Rosemary. And good luck to you too, John. being his daughter and all. Okay. Yeah, well, he's dead drunk in there most of the time. I mean, you know, uh, sick most of the time. I know what you mean. They're, uh, I guess he went out. Sure, it's nice you uh, becoming a teacher and all. I'm sorry he don't have a phone, but uh, there's writing paper and a pen. Why don't you leave my note? Excuse me for asking. Are you a nun or something like a nun? No. Why? Well, the way you dress, plain. Most of the nuns dress like that nowadays. You know, uh, they've given up the habit. <laughs> you get it? They've given up the habit. Hmm. Well, I, I've got to go downstairs. Why don't you take all the time you want with a note? 
Oh, thank you. Room. Are you friends of his? We're good old friends. Surely you'll come have a drink with us. Oh, no, thanks. He took some pictures of us all two Sundays ago in the park. I just wanted to show him how they came out. You know, he just loves taking pictures with that old box camera of his. He used to take lots of pictures of me. Once or twice a year when he visited me at the county orphanage. <laughs> he used to bother strangers asking them to take pictures of the two of us together. Well, my mother died when I was a baby, and, you know, it's not really right for a man alone to raise a young girl. So, naturally, the county orphanage was the best place for me. And then we saw less and less of each other. How long has it been since you've seen him last? Several years. Oh, you should come around more than that. He was like a father to us two. No, no more like an uncle. Gave us advice, you know. Come, come take a look at these pictures. been for almost two years. Well, you look really handsome. <laughs> and you more beautiful. I'm sorry for just appearing on the scene this way, but, uh, well, your father, ha have you kept in touch with him at all? Nope. I'm sorry to tell you this, he's dead, Rosemary. People die. Yes, indeed they do. The hotel he lived at is in my patrol area. I filled out the necessary police papers. Police papers? Yeah. Was he murdered? Oh, no, 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 no. It's hard, natural causes. The papers are just a formality. Well, I want to thank you for coming. He only died this morning, Rosemary. He's in a morgue right now, awaiting some relative to identify him and make the arrangements. Who's in the Army? Doesn't the Veterans Administration take care of their own at a time like this? Sure. I got to know him slightly, listen to him talk, mostly about you. Then you knew him better than I did. I see that I've bothered you. I'm sorry. If you at least make the identification, I'll call the Veterans Administration. John, wait! Uh, hi, is this the best? No. John, this is Tracy and Marsh. Hi. Hello. John's an old friend. He's just brought me some news that will cause me to leave for a few days. Huh? Yes, I'm afraid Rosemary's father just passed away. Oh, oh. sorry. Father Spirit, Father Night. Well, they'll go on mumbling like this for some time. I'll walk you back to your car. Let his essence flow with God. Okay. Let the universe dance with thy force. Thy spirit with thy soul. Let the test of this thy form. Let his essence flow with thine. Let the universe dance with thy force.
Welcome to our chapel. Please, come forward and see Thomas Price, a man who is simply changing in form. He goes from human to flower, like Narcissus, that beautiful youth, enamored of his own image as seen in the fountain, who was then transformed into the bulbous-rooted daffodils or jungles. Compliments of the mortuary. Do you own this place? No. I'm just at a mortician school. I see, yeah. Uh, well, what's your name? Ronald. I'm Marsh. Let his essence flow with thine. Let the universe dance with thy force. out the place. I got new uh, curtains and changed the sheets and clean bedspread. It's all new. <laughs> uh, I got this too. I got it for you. that hotel clerk decides to report what happened tonight, I'm in real trouble. Oh, he promised he wouldn't. I want to thank you for not reporting what happened to your supervisor. I couldn't stand the strain of the questions and the examinations. I'll see you tomorrow if you know Good night. Don't you want to talk a bit? You can come up to my room if you like. Why? You always did like to talk, remember? Yeah, I remember. Let's not kid ourselves anymore, Rosemary. You said you still loved me. I do. But let's just leave it at that. You're different, John. You've changed. That's right.
first marriage. I would like you to meet Eunice. I've heard so much about you. Please accept my sympathies. We'll go sit in the back. Pay our respects. Thank you both so much for stopping by. Would you like to see some of them? You're in a moment of grief. Thanks so much for stopping by. People die. People die. Let's talk about this scene real quick. It is so amazing. You've seen uh, documentaries on movie magic and how films are made. This is real movie magic because he hadn't seen her in two years, but he knows where she'll be. Likewise, she hadn't seen him in two years, but she notices him from across a field, a field she's jogging with her friends in plain clothes. So she sees this cop. Oh, that's not John Cassavetes, but that looks like John Leslie. Of course, she says the people die when she finds out that her dad just died. And he goes, he tops her. He's like, oh, you're going to do a weird line? I'll see you a weird line. I see that I bothered you. I see that I bothered you. I mean, it's not that weird of a line, but his delivery, I feel like his acting, no offense, John, his acting, which is amazing. I mean, John Leslie is a noticeable adult film star, like upper echelon. But for some reason, he just took it down a notch for that line. I see that I bothered you. I see that I bothered you. But then after that, he goes to bounce because he sees that he, he, he just bothered her. John Way. John Way. I like that it's John Cassavetes, John Leslie playing a character named John. John, John, John. Cause I'm an island boy. John Way. John Way. What do you think she wanted him to wait for? Well, I'll tell you. Okay, I'll tell you. John, wait. There's two extras that need to come over here and deliver a line. Okay, so we are making a movie here. We got two extras over there. Uh, oh, yeah, you told them to take another lap. You and your jeans. Really didn't look like you were exercising, but someone, uh, you know, like the props, prop manager gave you a towel. Now you look like you're exercising in your jeans. John, wait. Yes, ma'am. Two extras are coming over here to say something. So she says, John, wait. And they just wait. John, wait. Uh, hi, this is Bust. No. And then they come over, and there's another, more, more interesting uh, back and forth. John, wait. I'm Jason, a cinephile who plays a hyper obnoxious version of myself. Does someone mention Narcissus? 
Well, heck yeah, they do. I love this film. I'm glad you watched it. Thank you.